and we're back. Welcome everyone to tonight's stream. Hope everyone's had a good day. My uh, my day started off a little bit rough. I wasn't feeling very well, but I have been feeling well so far. So we'll see how the night goes. <laughs> So let's pick up where we last left off. Let me just make sure some things are updated. And once again, thank you for the host, uh, Chaos Theory. Let me just do a quick shout out. Thank you. Just checking some other things, making sure everything's okay. We last spoke to Hackett. He told us to go get some more help. Uh, let me also just check. Alright. So I think everything is up and running the way it should be. So let's go quick check in, talk to some people. Nothing new. But we did rescue the new Primarch. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapons. Ah, calibration. Of course he did. This sounds like Gareth. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's. She's not going to be joining us yet. Rogan. But uh, I think she may change her mind. It used to be mad love, but now we've got bad blood. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I don't know. Is there something I can help you with? Let's, uh, let's exhaust this dialogue now, shall we? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primark, but Earth can't survive without reinforcement. Can I still count on your help? It's like we need all the help we can get. Paladin, then I give you my word. Alright, what's your new duties? How is it being the Primarch? It's a lot of paperwork. Imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. Sorry, one second. Had to get the straw in my drink. There's no doubt we fought to the last soul. Oh, I can relate, man. Totally. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things. I had no choice over it, but it's it's hard, man. I'm not surprised. Aww. My boo! <laughs> that your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Alright. What's the situation? Are things on Palavan. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy. The Anturians are uh, hi highly militaristic, so if they're saying that they're having a hard time, then this is going to be rough. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. It's like, yeah, you have to kind of respect the Reapers, but still. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. There you go. Thanks, Primarch. I think that's the only person I can talk to in here at the moment. I don't think there's anybody else. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander.
think, all right, sorry about that. My mic, for some reason, is, uh, it was muted. So, I know exactly what's going on. Apologize there. I thought I had it, uh, fixed. Automated systems have the fires contained. All right, let's go. Joker, Follow your lead. what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire. No, it's just smoke for the drama. I'm going in. It's like, why are you doing that? There's just smoke. Now you're adding more smoke. Talk to me. Oh, I don't need a breath mask. Because I am awesome. Is there a particular topic to discuss, Shepard? It's like, uh, this is my new teammate now. Edie. Yes. You're in Dr. Eva. It's her body now. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. That's a, a trap. power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw <laughs> fit. During this process, it struggled. It's like, nice gun, but I'm gonna say that was dangerous. It's like, you should give us a heads up if you're gonna do that. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. Yes. Uh, us humans are very slow in comparison to AI. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast. So she's in both places. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? With me on missions, yes. Weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the normal. Mm, test it. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any. Make sure it doesn't go haywire. Run whatever test you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. <laughs> it's like, okay. Send you a full report. It's like that quick. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your <laughs> That is true. Ashley may have some reservations about you using that body, considering it did just give her, like, a massive concussion. Joker will also want to see it. Oh, Joker's gonna love that. On that, we can agree. Alright, time to go chit-chat with everybody. What's up, Doc? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, you are right. Time to go visit my favorite Turian. Open up door. You can't keep me out. He's on the side. I'm seeing the yep. numbers myself. They don't look good. I'm gonna listen in. Eavesdrop. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the crow. Aww. He has great confidence in me. I appreciate this. I'm sure it will, sir. All right, I think that's it. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Gotta get your hands on to calibrate this. Lately. Calibrating a giant <laughs> gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so, is this the part? Aww. Shake hands. Wasn't sure about the protocol. Of course. Yet, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. <laughs> I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new. So this is the point in the game where you can be like, 
let's continue, or no, let's end it. But why would you do this? Yes. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. Oh, I haven't done any homework at all. There we go. Just interrupt. That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... Aww. I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross species. You can't see, but I have the biggest grin on my face. <laughs> hey, witch. You said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token time. Yeah, it's like the bosses are like, all right, just yeah. give this, give him this promotion. How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough, and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah, well, it won't be easy. But we earned it. But I, yeah, I'm gonna go with diplomatic right now. I need these Paragon points. It comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us. Millions. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. We're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper. I hope it doesn't end like that, but it's looking kind of realistic. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough. Too to long. I'm sure they're okay. I don't think we ever find out. Shepherd. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. What do you think of our chances? I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? Poor. I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight will... Yeah, humans have that I idealistic everyone. sense. In this war, that's not going that to happen. That ain't gonna happen now. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? Good thinking. I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see Yeah, his that. dad wasn't too happy that he left CSEC. Mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one. It's nice to have friends in high places. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Uh, yeah, it makes a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw. He is a smart man. Always knew the Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't Aww. convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. Bet they're and wishing they listened now. A task force. It sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with him? As much as I could get away with. <laughs> a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. 
Well, no, That's really the only thing you can ask for in a situation like this, is just more time. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? He will. I've never known Victus to lie, play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well... <laughs> It's like, well, if he tries, we'll just find someone new. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Primarch Vicarian has a nice sound to it. Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. I don't think, yep, that is all we got. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks. <gasps> Just hiding booze around me. Advisor. Deal. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Time to calibrate. Oh. That was a good reunion. Time to go check up on Liara, see if she has anything new to say, especially considering we just got Edie. Your oh. No, the gun battery is nice. I just realized that Tally may not like that. <laughs> Garrus. That's another thing about this game that I do right. enjoy that you do get to hear conversations between your teammates. So it's like it gives that kind of narrative depth that uh, it's like, yeah, everyone else has a life besides you, too. So it's this adds more character. Oh, and again, I will be streaming tonight from 8 to 10. Oh, and I just got a, uh, a notice that someone else is hosting me. Thank you. So a quick shout out. Thank you. Uh, give me one second. Let me just double check something. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Let's double check with Liara. On your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South. Oh, she's getting flashbacks. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, Aww. I saw those same mountains burning. Let's see. Do we have anything? Oh, new. Yes. So, oh, this is where we find out that basically all the Cerberus operatives have, um, like, s not suicide cap, like, gel caplets or whatever, uh, but they're rigged to explode, <laughs> so we're not gonna get a whole lot of survivors to talk. Alright, I think that is all that I can do on this floor. Uh, let's see. I Alright, this is where... This is where I was. I was just here. Uh, I don't think there's really anyone on engineering besides Engineer Adams at the moment. But there are people down in the shuttle bay, so I'm gonna double check with them. Let's see. Do you have anything new for me, Cortez? Nope. You have nothing new for me. Uh, do I have any new... I thought I picked up something new. I could be mistaken. Oh yeah, I'll go with uh, weapon damage. Alright, save and quit. Uh, let me just double check the loadout for my guns. Ooh, yes, please. Mod that. Increase rounds. Uh, piercing mod. Oh, this re reduces the damage. I don't know if I want that. No, I'm not going to use that. I want to use my damage as much as I can. Ooh, 
Okay, so this is, um, increases damage. Uh, I still want this. This is damage increased by 15. This, ooh, that's good. This increases the capacity, but this increases damage. That's 15%. Hmm. I'm going to keep the damage increase and the shot capacity increase. I got nothing for that gun. Alright. Hey James, what's up? What the hell's up with these? <laughs> it's like, oh, you noticed? A super hot sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm going to be just a... Oh, that's fine, you're staying on the ship forever. Even more distracted. Nice try. Sorry, Lola. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Uh, what about the previous mission? You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Sacrificed a colony and his uh, team for information. I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or, or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. Yeah, next topic. There we go. State of mind. Time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah, but I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crash. Yeah, don't wreck my, sh my ship. I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only guy So, like, gives him something to fight time. for. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. Uh, nicknames. You and the nicknames. He's it's very forgetful of names. <laughs> Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give him a new one. So, I'm a Lola, huh? Yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. I... Tough. Right. <laughs> I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It would go to his head. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. But I will see you later. Because that is all that you have for me at the moment. Alright, I am done down here. Time to head back up. I don't think I have anything in my cabin. I'm gonna quickly check. Oh, I looked away just for a split second. All right, no fish yet. Someday though, soon. Uh, nothing here, but looks like my model ships are coming in nicely. I think I have one, I just haven't found it on the ship. And there's a new spot for more. <gasps> and then my space hamster! Alright, let's check team layout. So let us see... Alright, that's for shields. Alright, so weapon damage and shields, that's what he's got. I do appreciate weapons damage. So it looks like you only have three outfits. So this one is shields, weapons damage. Yeah, let's go with that one for now. E, what you got? All right, power damage. She has a good layout for abilities, but I think they're basically the same that I have, except for decoy. Oh, wait, what did? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, what did he have? Uh, okay, abilities. Power damage, recharge speed, that's always good. Shields. Oh, so it's three different abilities. Is that, ah, now I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, so that was shields, recharge. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, shields. 
damage. Oh, so, okay. Alright, shields, damage, and recharge speed. So that is damage. I'm gonna go with recharge speed. Because an incinerate and overload are good, but it's good to have them uh, ready to go. And what did I have for Liara? Recharge speed, recharge speed, damage, damage. Okay. Yes. So it's basically use the tanks for what they're good for. All right, back down to the CIC. Oh yeah, trainer actually does a really good job. Are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan, I'm sure you would have. I wanted to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our <laughs> systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning a line. What'd you find? Grissom Academy is requesting help. That name should be familiar, especially if you read any of the uh, Mass Effect novels. I thought the war would close most schools. Plus, I did do the Overlord DLC, and that's where um, some of the smartest students. I think it was at David Archer. That's where we sent him. Project is the best training facility in. So we are gonna go there. But I want to do Eden Prime first. David Archer there. Yep, there we go. I actually mentioned it. That's great. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. All right. Uh, you could just dismiss this and be like, we have bigger things to worry about. But I'm going to be like, yeah, I want to help them. Because you can always choose this one and then just decide not to do it. But uh, it definitely plays out in a good... To, well, plays out to your advantage if you so do decide to go along with it. Do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an Oh, I wonder where we've heard this scenario before. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian yep. signal was similar to the one that... So that's never good. Ship. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's... But it's activated. not. It's in danger. They believe good job. In danger. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. You're earning your keep. It's Cerberus. Hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. So I don't know if this mission is time-based, though. So I'm almost tempted to do this one first before Eden Prime. Yo, what's up, Joker? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. <laughs> she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? I don't know. Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself... No, you wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. Do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Yeah, now I can just take all that anger out on the Reapers. Pull it between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Aha. Uh -huh. Everyone just makes fun of the calibration. Time to talk to Evie Hello, now. Eric. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new <laughs> Like, that was just a figure of speech. <laughs> I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment... See, so yeah, I'll be taking Edie on missions with me. Adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. Let's just walk over here, five feet. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new plan? Oh, we walked a little bit further away. No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual <laughs> I bet it is. Wow. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey Ooh. on moral grounds? She's... Good thing to remember, she's still an AI. Hmm. Good judgment. Absolutely. 
I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. So I've got kind of like a geth situation on my hands a little bit. I became capable of self-modifying my core program. It's like, does this unit have a soul? I thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you it's think like, I Oh, that sounds dangerous, but I'm gonna be like, no, you decide. Who am I to answer that question? Point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them? Sure, we're gonna have a little gal pal chat. I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. We'll have tea, crumpets, biscuits. I think that is all I have. Is there anything else? You don't have to keep getting up every time. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no. Yeah, this must be really limited in compared to what she's used to. Countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I well, we found out, yeah. For motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. What about your work? Looks like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. So it's just one more thing that we've stolen from Cerberus. We stole their ship, stole their people, she knows what she's doing. equipment, and now they're, uh, they're AI. Well, not AI, but also, um, this body. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. What about the new body? What's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to <laughs> even though they can do so. It's like, oh yeah, we can just talk to you at any point because you're, you are the ship. I am not, but this changes But uh, people are just so used to talking to something with a face. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. When I've discovered something truly interesting. I like the look on Shepard's face. It's like, uh, should I be worried? The joke that make it out of dry dock to rescue us. Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance... So we lied. ...still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you tricked them. You can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers. Got you also the escaped with anybody on the ship as well. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss them out the airlock. Well, you could have. It was the option. But... All right, I have ex exhausted all dialogue. To talk more, this body will be here. And I am going to go to the CIC. Noted. Time to lightly jog. Is there anything over in this? Oh, I thought there would be a ship over here. Oh well. Oh, I got a message from Ashley. She's awake. 
Oh, I got a message from Arya. This is a DLC. Oh, Ashley's gonna be in a, uh, a new Spectre now. Uh, so this is another Spectre. So this, this is Solarian, I think. Uh, do do do. So I'm gonna meet a couple people on the Citadel, apparently. I'm not gonna do that just yet. So I'm just gonna save real quick. Use the galaxy map. Alright, before I leave here, I'm gonna scan. See if I can find anything. Don't know if there's anything in this system. I have to be careful. Because like I said, if I uh, do this too many times, I could attract unwanted attention. Alright. Time to go. I can't speed up, though. Alright, so there's nothing here. So what do I want to do? Rescue students. Recover the artifact. Diplomats. Arya. So that's the Cerberus lab. Hmm. I think I may rescue the students first before going off to the artifact. Because I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is timed and I don't want to risk them not being saved. So, quick change of pace. Also, I noticed I'm also getting another host. Thank you. So it's Fire Marshal and Inverted Goose 30. Let me do a quick shout out. Thank you very much for the host. Appreciate it. So, quick change of plans. We're gonna go rescue students. I got about an hour and a half, so it should give me enough time to do both, I'm hoping. Oh, I got a bit of a headache coming on again. Alright, so there's nothing beyond this system. So this is the only thing I can do here. Time to choose my team. Of course. Hmm. Who do I want? Uh, Liara would be good because she has biotic abilities. Hmm, of course. I may want to take Edie. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Because I know when I go to get the Prothean Artifact, I'm going to be taking Liara. So, let's just mix things up. Let's take Edie. Ah, let me just quick fix my loadout. I think I already have this. But I can uh, change out my squad. Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's like, I don't like the weight increase on that. The other thing is, it doesn't tell me the power recharge speed of my teammates, so I don't know if it's affected actually by their weight capacity or not. Uh, hmm. Let's go with a little something different then. There we go. Let's 
still like this for the damage it gives. Yeah, sure. All right, we are done. Oh, have to have to level up people. Oh my goodness, I forgot that she is. Oh, hey, Crayon, hi. No problem lurking. Do a quick shout out for Crayon there. I gotta remind myself, I gotta keep looking over at chat. Health and shields. I'm gonna do damage because I'm not playing on hard. Otherwise, I do that. Uh, tech may be a good option. Ooh, I do want this because that increases everybody. incinerate This also helps out squad mates, squad bonus. Hmm. That's only at a 6%. All right, we are good to go. Oh no, I have to insert another disc. Good thing I have it handy. So if you'll just pardon me for one moment. Hope you're having a good evening, Crayon. for this to load. There we go. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. See ya. It's, it's Cerberus. Duty. Too many for us in a straight up Time line. to go take them out. We must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders. Kaylee Sanders was also in the first Mass Effect novel. So she and Anderson have a history. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct... Is that uh, Mass Effect Ascension? Oh, 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 jeez. Any alternatives? Something is just falling around me. I could probably open. All right, come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? That is Mass Effect Revelation. Boy, can I? So it gives you more of like a history if you were to have read the novels. I think it's also an Ascension, I believe. The second Mass Effect novel. I've only read the first three. Uh, I have not read the fourth. I didn't hear really good reviews about that. Come and get me. Ooh, 
busy. So time for us to sneak on this base. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Yeah. Shit went down. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Server's troops are trying to get in. Get ready. Okay. Alright, hold on. Gotta make sure. Uh, which one do I want to hotkey? There we go. He'll let us in. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Let me in! Let me in! We've come to rescue you. Thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. So at least we don't have to worry about the whole school, but, uh... Prototyping tech for the Alliance. You do have to worry about the students. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together they will provide a useful asset for the war. You said something about Admiral Anderson. She knows him. We met. God, it's been 20 Now, years. she says 20 years. The only thing I have an issue with is she looks a little too young. He's a good man. But I don't know. That's just me. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off. She looks like she's in her 30s. But she had met him when she was at least 20 or so. So she be, she should be like 40. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. Yeah, so these students are going to help with the war effort. With the entire galaxy. Given the opportunity. Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frober. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. So we gotta help these students and fast. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run. So she's gonna offer support from where she is here. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I think the door's gonna shut behind me and I can't go back in to talk to her. Yep, she is locked in there. I'll get the door for you. Ooh. Can I actually? Oh no, I can't. I can't get past this wall. So unfortunately, student, you are on your own. I can't help you. Hmm. Do I want to go through this door, or I'm gonna go through the other door? Because there's also a mod just laying on the floor. So yeah, the servers they want all the help that they can get as well, which includes these uh, biotic kids. Is there anything down here? Nothing down there. Oh, they don't even notice us. This is gonna be fun. Uh, no, I'm gonna punch. Mm, there we go. Ha ha! Fools. Yo, kid. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kelly Sanders at security. Play dead. Okay, but my Just roll over and play dead. Here somewhere too. All right, so nothing else here. All right, time to go through this busted window. <laughs> so these kids are learning all about biotic abilities, and look, I just learned something too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pick this up. Uh, so somebody is here teaching these kids. I wonder who. Don't think I can go by there. There is nothing over there for me. Booty. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna hotkey overload. Whoa, how did you- oh, that's your decoy. I'm like, wait a minute, how'd you get pa how'd you get past the door before me? Oh no! the way I'd hoped. Send out my drone. My drone will fix this. Oh, that's a dead body. I'm like, wait a minute. Just do a quick sweep of the room. Quick save. Nothing here. See, so yeah, Cerberus is trying to get these kids to uh, come on out. Ooh, what's this? Ah, it's another assault rifle. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. It's got a different fire rate. I don't know if I can change the mods on it, though. No, I can't. I can't change mods. So I'm gonna keep what I got. Oh, that's actually not... That's horrible accuracy. I just noticed that. Um... Uh, let's change out your assault rifle. I'll worry about the mods later. Is this something I can pick up? It is! Nice. And you? Yes, you're the one I'm looking for. Hear me. How do you know my name? I found your brother. Your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Yeah, don't believe them. Anything else I can find over here? Yes, I'm just looting everything. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of the instructors is with them, but they can't much longer. <laughs> yeah, so they're instructors with these kids. I wonder who that is. Is there anything in here that I can pick up? Nope. Another quick save. Sorry, I'm like half distracted. I got a bad headache working on me here. Oh look, it's someone familiar. Jack? And of course, this is because she survived the uh, suicide run. Oh, this is bad. Take the pressure off of them. Everyone get down. This thing's out of your league. Shepard, keep it off of Will do. So I have to defeat that before the barrier goes down. Uh... Oh, wait. There's more people over here. You gotta go take care of that, but there is someone else over here. I'm gonna take care of them first before taking care of the mech. Whoa, wait. Okay, that's the only obstacle. Take through the shields first. Oh, 
kidding me? I think that's it. Yes. That is all. Time to quick save. Look at that. Students barely got hit. Oh wait, there's more people over here. I'm like, wait a minute. Why are they still getting attacked? Why have I not gone into a cutscene yet? That is it. Yep. Kaylee said she was putting out an SOS. I'm Queen of the Girl Scouts. All those cookies are mine. Show up. All right. Amp check. Frankly, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to Jeez. Ha ha. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> the stairs were right there, but all right. Ugh. Ow! That's a fine how do you do. And also, if you were playing Manship and you had Romancer, I think this would have been a nice reunion. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to I, all the people Cerberus. I didn't trust Cerberus. As charming as ever. Wait. I betrayed them as quickly as I could. Probably how she likes it. Yes. Okay. Right now? All I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess it's like that's crazy, but that's good. I can't good. think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I also like the hair. <laughs> while you were off playing hero, Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this, and apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you. Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. So we gotta hurry on out. Got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. We're not gonna make it in two minutes. Get out of here and back to Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, man. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Gotta find another way out. So also depending on who, wait, you know, I think I have more dialogue with you. Here we go. Let me know when we've got a new way off this. Let story. us talk. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. They don't look like teenagers. They look like adults, but that's because of the models that are being used. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But they'd be better off as support. So if we get off this station, I'll have a decision to make whether or not they're gonna be on the offensive or defensive support. No. They need me to believe Jack is all for support. And that will affect the war asset rating. I have to say, Jack. You look good. I like the hair. Nice hair. Maybe some Also, it looks like you're wearing gauze. I never had a family. Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them. I apart. don't doubt that. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip them to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. I think also depending on who you take on this mission, Jack has unique dialogue for everybody. Uh, I kept thinking, damn, look at um, Marion handle this. But since Garris and I are a couple, she makes a comment about that. She did have a comment about Edie, but um, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Stick close. We'll get. She only makes a comment about one squad member. So that is all the dialogue that she has. I'm gonna do a quick sweep of the room. Just to make sure. Yep, there we go. Sanders, you should have access now. Ooh, that's a nice experience. Double check in, do a quick sweep. Making sure there's no mods on the floor. Ooh, 
health kit. And since I am the, at the max, that's just going to be converted into experience. Okay, we have armor piercing rounds. Yes. Okay. There's nothing up here. Do I get to talk to any of these kids? Hey kids, it's me, Commander Shepard. Stay in school, don't do drugs. Just watch me loot the place. Yeah, there we go. Scope. Alright, time to go. Another quick save. I think that was it for Jack, and we are good, I think. Oh, find manual overrides. Yeah, that was all that she had. Stick close. Good. All right, time to... I think it's upstairs then? How's your hand? Great. I think I pulled a muscle. Thought. your juice. You'll be fine. Uh-oh. Wait, yes. Got it. There we go. Let her know. Hey, let me know. Oh, that's all. Stick close. Good. Okay. Time to force open this door. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw Get their the hell fire. off this station. We'll Class is dismissed. Those, those guys from above. A good strategy. Takes the students from direct fire. Don't take any risks. Time your shots and stay safe. Just go for support. Go for defense. I don't want to take a, a risk in having any of these people die. I don't know if that's possible, but still. Oh, they are lying. They're not lying. They are lying. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on. Being the best of the best. You're only asking nicely because you scared him in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Charming as ever. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Double check the weapon loadout. All right, um, double also check to make sure all armor piercing mod is on. Yes, okay. And time to kick ass. Should probably use my sniper. Good point that I have. Ready for act? Ah, there we go. Shin Hell yeah. You are getting too close, but I can't quite. There we go. So, to my right. Come on. I am in a bad spot right now. Like you could go right through the stage, I believe, past the mech, 
but then all these guys are gonna be up here. Oh, I got a quick hide. squad. It's like, wait a minute, where are they? down. How did that happen? I think I could just go over and just revive her instead of wasting a med kit. So I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I got a duck. Also, I revived her when I wasn't really even near her, but uh, I'm not gonna complain about that too much. is here. I could have probably done that a little bit easier, but uh, when have I ever done that? Probably gonna find some stuff to pick up, like this. So yeah, Cerberus not only wants these kids for the bi their biotic abilities, but they also want Jack back. Kaylee, we're in the atrium. Come on, duck. Get behind cover. Gotta heal. <laughs> Who is- oh my goodness, how did you get this close? my squad. Oh, they're on, I'm on the wrong side here. Alright, so they're all up there, so it's not doing me any good to be down here. But I need to take out that turret, though.
too close. Much, much too close. And you need to back up now. That should be it. Alright, so that's good. Do a once through. Just a quick sweep. Make sure I don't forget anything. Oh, that looked like it would be lootable. But it is not. Is there anything in here? Nope, that's just where they were coming from. Rock and roll. I am full on ammo. Come on. You can do it. Just load in the next level. There we go. For a second there, I thought that was going to be stuck. Oh, I don't think so. There we go. Nothing over here. I would put my gun away to talk to you, but I don't know what button does that. It used to be the back button, but that's now a quick save. So I'm just going to talk to you. I'm Commander Shepard. Alliance. I'm here to help. Come with me if you want to live. Buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of nine six point oh one equals. David knows me. Hello, Commander. I've got an in. David, do you know her? Yes. She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. So you can put down that barrier now. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. I think this also becomes a war asset, that uh, field generator. Thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy. Oh! Sorry. No apology is necessary. I didn't realize that they were going to be, uh, they would know each other. I didn't realize that. Academy been all right? That was a good choice that I brought Edie along then. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. Aww. Security office. Oh, that's also good. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. So, with the Overlord DLC, had you chosen to leave David to uh, Service's use, he unfortunately would not have made it. Do a quick sweep of the room, make sure I don't loot, miss anything. Uh, let's see, what is this? What gun did I just pick up? Hmm. No, that's all too heavy. Oh no, I don't want that. I want my gun. Oh yeah, I think it was that? I think that's what I just picked up. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, the Matlock. Or Matlock. Not Matlock. Jeez. Alright, so I pick up a new gun and a mod and we are good and we are good to go. Before the storm. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not 
as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. How do I get by here? Do I go up? Up the fountain? What's... I have to go over the couch. Just go over the burning couch. Ooh, chest plate. Another save. Oh, this is amusing. Just gonna shock the hell out of him. There we go. <gasps> I get my own mech. I'm gonna pick up this health kit though. Yeah. Get in. Get in the mech, Shinji. Get in the mech, Shepard. <laughs> nice. So I got a melee. So there, the kids are gonna make it over to the shuttles. So I basically have to help buy them time. There they go, making it to the shuttle. Oh wait, that's Garrus, oh my god, sorry. Jeez. well on this mech. Student barriers are still okay. Okay, getting too close. So the shuttle's just about ready. There we go. Oh, mech fight. Of course, with the smoke screen. I can't quite aim. Think they're dead? I don't know. I would expect a cutscene. Oh, yes, I need to leave. I need to get out. There we go. A quick sweep of the room. Ah! Pfft. I don't think there's anything here. Like I said, just a quick sweep. Oh, there is. I was wrong, slash right. Yes, 
I would have thought there would have been like a cutscene, but like, hey, we're ready to go. Uh, let's see. Don't think there is anything else. Nope, we are good. Time to bail. Come on, let me in. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Oh no. How did you get all the way back there? She needs covering fire. She needs Just shoot the gun. There we go. Man, servers are horrible, eh? You know, horrible shots. Ah, we took your shuttle. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Yeah, don't shoot us. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. <laughs> You survived. You're all getting tattoos. What do you guys want? Ascension project. Time to celebrate. Blowing fist. Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez. Screw you, ma'am. <gasps> I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Mm. If you say they're ready for battle, I believe you get more war asset points, but at the cost of their lives. So it's like I'll just use them as support because that's what Jack had uh, recommended. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We you gonna argue with me, young man? I can drop you back off at the school. Barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit. Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we got a visual on you now. Prepare Besides, that was the Paragon choice. Now that you're military. Screw you, flight lieutenant. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's been watching her mouth. Your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar? Well, we're not in school anymore. I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Comedic timing. I may have enough time to do Eden Prime. I'll have to double check to see. I don't know if I have to talk to everybody now. I don't think Jack comes with me though. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for Zora. Hey, Keith David. Good to see you too, sir. Sir, I may have reinstated you. <laughs> I should go all formal on me. So go, okay, Anderson. Alive, Anderson. There you go. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting. Yeah, because they made I me. Imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. Oh, they would have all been indoctrinated, and then Jack would have been uh, the experimented on to become one of their biotic soldiers. God damn it! I hate That's what would have happened. Cerberus would have taken them. Kaylee Sanders is safe. You would have had to fight against Jack, but it wouldn't have been like a cutscene or anything. It would have just been one of their biotic, uh, indoctrinated soldiers that you would have heard her talk, and then you would have to kill her, and then you would have been like, oh, that was Jack. Stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. No fanfare or nothing. All right. I, I just spoke to him. Oh, no, no, the ha Not Hackett, okay. Like, I just spoke to Anderson, but different person. Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. The Asari are being a bunch of big babies. The time for unity is now. The Solarians will be there, though. Mm, I don't know about them. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then, you've got your hands full, Commander. I do. Was there something else you needed to discuss? I don't know. You called me. We piece together how the Reapers hit her. It wasn't all that complicated, really. They searched through the relay 
reason he'd arch to our station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the soul system. Earth didn't stand a chance. I'm glad we went to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet Ooh. to cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat. Yeah, but that may have saved everybody. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. But I have main protagonist powers. One, you can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? Maybe. The larger principle that matters will never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. Yeah, we have like a whole bunch of them to fight. Find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as we need as long to. As it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us. Yeah, everything that they're doing is just buying me time. We gather what we need for this Protheum device. So keep at it. Uh, I've already asked that. Protheum device. Has your analysis of the Protheum device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky building something like this when we don't even know? I don't think we does? really have a choice. To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? Yeah, they're crazy. A wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. Mm. It seems it Is it though? I was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. No, they have to be our, our antagonist in this game. Because of course, why not? And that has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. Mm. He's wrong. Dead Reapers he is wrong. In this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't. Alright, I've exhausted all dialogue. Goodbye. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Hack it out. Alright, let's see. Let me just check the uh, war assets, the war terminal. Oh, I got something new. So I think this is updated. Yep. So the biotic students that I just rescued are going to help with uh, support. And because Kaylee Sanders was there, she is also... Let's see. Uh, she's also giving me 30 points. Oh, wait. And because Jack survived, she's going to give me some points, too. I think that is all. That is all new. That is good. Let me go around and talk to people. Do you have anything new? Yes, Commander. No, you don't. That's you have all. nothing new for me. That's of all. Course, Goodbye. It's like after every mission, you have to double check with everybody to see if they have anything new for you. So I don't actually know if I'm going to get to the Prothean Artifact tonight. I may. I have like half an hour. She'd never know there was a war on. It'll come soon enough. Come on, let me load into the rest of my ship. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. Good job, trainer. And if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Good job. I'm gonna give you a promotion. Commendation. Oh, you have nothing for me. But I think I have mail. Ah, Miranda's on the Citadel. I have a lot of people to talk to when I get there. Uh, this is from Kaylee, who I will never see again. But she's just thanking me for coming to help out. It's like, why wouldn't I? Alright, let's go down, talk to Cortez. See what he wants. 
to you. I may not be able to get to uh, the Perthian artifact tonight. I may have to wait now until tomorrow night. Oh. Time to listen to some sad backstory. I love you. But I know you. Aww. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Do you need a hug? Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. Oh. Shepard's eyes are a little creepy there. Whoa. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. Aww. I lost my husband. Said goodbye, made my peace. That's gotta be rough. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called. Oh, jeez, that is that is a bad answer. I'm sorry for your loss. He you obviously cared a lot about I'm it. not gonna be mean about this. He lost a loved one. Or at least Aww. I thought I had. He's a widow now. When the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I think also, if I remember correctly, depending on how I talk to some people on the ship, also then determines if they survive this or not. Him being one of them. I'm here for you. If ever you need a hug or a shoulder to cry on, I am here. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard. You know? Oh, I know. And I think that's all he has for me at the moment. Oh, I got Paragon points. All right, do you have anything for me? That Primark's got some real cojones. All right. Oh, you have nothing new. Taking names, kicking ass, chewing bubblegum. Uh, let me just check engineering just real quick, just to see if there's anybody there. I don't think there is, because like I said, Jack does not stay with us. And that's another thing that uh, is definitely beneficial if you manage to keep everyone alive during the Omega-4 suicide run, is that they all basically become war assets. Breaking now, a city of ah, you. Give me good PR. Days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? <laughs> Get off my ship. <laughs> no. Let me know when we do. I think Trainer will basically tell me when Allers wants to talk to me to get like a uh, like a sound bite or an interview to then improve my PR for uh, the rest of the war assets. But not yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nobody else here. Not yet. Time to head back upstairs. Uh, let's go to crew deck. Double check. I'm surprised. I'm looking over at chat. I just realized my stay hydration bot or stay hydrated bot isn't working. Or is not as often as I thought. Hey, you! Come back. You must salute me. He was highlighted. Oh well. Whatever. Wait. Nope. I'm just going crazy, I guess. They are. Talk to me. Do you have anything new for me? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> oh, so all the broker terminal emails is basically like just eavesdropping on people. Uh, okay. Nothing new. We are. What you got? It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Oh yeah, because basically all Asari are uh, biotics. The Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Jack is super proud. Look around. I will look around. Did I pick up anything? No, I have nothing. No rewards. T 
time to go talk to the most important person here on the ship. Or are you busy calibrating? Let me in. Let me in. There we go. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. Yeah, this if is, they survive, uh, there'll be a lot of angry orphans. Yeah, if we make it through, survive the Reapers. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack. <laughs> More time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic. Mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. Of I'm course, she didn't need to punch me, though. Tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. It looks like we beat Cerberus again. Yeah. The elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall. Yeah, I don't think the elusive man uh, brokers failure. All right, time to go. Just chit chatty dialogue. Hey, Chakwa, you got. Ooh, why is it loading? There we go, there we go. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. I like them too. See you, come on. All right, goodbye. All right, let's see what uh, mischief we can get up into the next 20 minutes. Come on, let me up this elevator. Back up to the CIC. Oh, I should probably go to my room to uh, outfit myself with the newest gear that I just picked up. Because I don't think I can change my gear on anywhere else in the ship. One moment, please. new uh, let's see oh, my squad has nothing else for me not at the moment time to change my armor ah this ooh this kind of looks weird but uh, I mean I do want it more than health increase I do want to up my power damage. All right, there's nothing there for shoulders. No, I don't do melee. Oh, I forgot. Like this also shows you the loadout instead of just looking at the numbers. Do I want to increase weapon damage at the? Hmm. Do I want my health boost or not? save those. Time to back, go back down to the CIC and select another mission. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start the Prothean Artifact mission and see where I end up. So I may stream a little bit longer, past 10, depending on how long that mission takes me. Quick save. Oh, I should also save, save. And yes, I can upgrade. Uh, hmm. Damage and shields. Yes. Don't think I can upgrade anything else. I don't really want to use a turret, though. Yeah, I'll upgrade, upgrade frost. 
Alright, we have finished that. I don't think this is anything that the Reapers will notice using the uh, scan. Because this is a closed system. There is nothing here. And there is no mineral mining in this game. I don't want to meet with diplomats. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's see what else is here outside this system. find. Oh, there is probing. <laughs> but only, not for minerals, but for um, the scans. So, war asset found. Yeah, there's no scanning. go. So I have half the assets found. This is another half. So I found everything that I can in this system. Ah, yes. Tutorial planet. Eden Prime. Time to land. So I got about 16 minutes, but like I said, I'll be finishing up this mission before I call tonight. So I may be streaming a little bit longer past 10. I am going to, of course... Oh, I have to take Liara. I didn't realize that. Oh well. It just makes my job easier. Time to... Oh, I should have changed the mods. Why am I... Oh, get this off me. Get, get off. Why did it undo my mods, though? Weapon stability. Ah, uh, that reduces damage. Oh, I don't know if I'd like this because when I try and zoom, it uh, brings up a scope, and that's not what I want. So I do want stability. What else? Shot capacity, damage. Uh, let's start with the one. Reduces damage. Um, hmm. I may want to slow down time just to increase my aiming capacity. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. So, oh, no mods yet for that. There we go. Let's see if I need to change it out. Uh, that's close. More accuracy. But I'm gonna keep going with this. good. Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna wait on your points. You... No, 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 no. Back up. Uh, weapon damage, force, and duration. Don't do that. Oh, you're missing one more point. Ooh, 
but when I do have the chance, we are gonna go with squad bonus. Uh, do I wanna wait? Is that six and six? Hmm. That's beneficial to her, but I do like squad bonus. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, there we go. I had to upgrade that first. So next time, next time I will do squad bonus. Whoa! I don't know if I like this visor, but I do like the bonus it gives me. All right. Time to go. Load faster. Eden Prime. This is where it all I know, I was there. Ah yes, Eden Prime. The Prothean beacon gave you the Become a symbol for your people. The Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack. It's like I remember. I was knocked on my ass by that uh, beacon. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to. Find hey, you were on the Citadel. I remember that. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy. This is a good. <laughs> you and bureaucracy. <laughs> it's hard to believe you were ever in CSEC. I wanted to help people. Fortunately, you showed me how to use the direct approach. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone Oof. before the dig site. These people can't catch a break. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I agree. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. All right, let's move. Let's rock and roll. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No, that's that's not gonna happen. It's a nice thought, but. What kind of mission would this be if I didn't have someone shooting at me? No sign of survivors. All right, let me just double check. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see what I need as far as warp ammo versus armor piercing. Depends on who I'm fighting. All right, so singularity and concussive shot. We need to find the dig Good. All right, nothing for me to pick up in the immediate area. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. They rebuilt Menduar. It wasn't the same. <sighs> Even I'm bringing up Menduar, jeez. Nothing around. So I'll check my radar real quick, just to make sure. I don't want to get surprised. So, Liara, ever dug up uh, what a human <laughs> Oh, yeah, you. I wonder what aliens would think about dinosaur fossils. Paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different. And. Uh huh. Uh, you you just went all nerd. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> I really do appreciate all the squad interactions that they have in this game. It's nice. I'm glad I brought these two with me. Well, I mean, Liar was a given, but... I ain't going anywhere without Garrus. Just taking all this equipment and stuff lying around. Ooh, war asset. How? Do I have to go in here? 
Was I just in here? No, I was just in here. I'm getting all twisted, turned around, upside down. Down into the dig site. Time to go. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. <laughs> it's not a Prothean artifact. It's a Prothean. Like the collectors. Or those bodies we found. Ah, uh, Ilos. The conduits on Ilos. We found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. Oh, I thought... I saw Prothean yeah. stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed... I had a command for Ilos. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years. Waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people? Not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cipher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean mm. Empire spanned the known galaxy. Maybe, maybe not. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uh, you may want to rethink that, Liara, once we uh, open up this tomb here. Exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close <laughs> to those of the ancient. This is going to be interesting. Given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies. Oh, that sounds too friendly. It's like this is the case, but still. Well, you describe them; they sound a lot like the Asari. I can't wait for these reactions that she has and the interactions that she'll have with the Prothean. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. She is just geeking out. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist. That's gotta suck, though, being the last of your kind. Being woken up. Only to have to fight the, the, uh, the Reapers again. It's like, I thought I was done with this shit. I don't want to keep fighting. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing. I'm only like half paying attention to what she says. Over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Of course. There they are. Time to take them out. All right. Let's go with warp ammo. Change loadout. You are all too far away. Oh, they got a sniper too. Alright, you need to lose your shields. And... wait. There we go. These are gonna be... Nemesis, yeah. They're gonna be a problem. Because they are snipers. Get moving before more of them come back. So just like how we see the Reapers indoctrinating different species, are you alive or are you just like... Oh no, you're dead, but you've ragdolled into something. So, like I was saying, just how we're going to see the Reapers indoctrinating different species and giving them different bonuses and strengths and weaknesses, the same can be said for Cerberus. So like each one of them is something different. Like they have... Ooh, what is this? Ooh. They have, like, uh, just tanks, snipers, biotics, another war asset. Wait, wait. Alright, I'm gonna clear right now. Uh, so this helps me against... I think this is against shields, this is against armor. There we go. But a lot of the stuff are shields. Oh wait, no. This is a barrier. This is against barriers. Wait. I can't read. Uh, let's go with that instead. Uh, hmm. Where do I want to go? Alright, so I've already investigated that pod. Let me investigate this. <gasps> A sleeping body! Oh, don't want to go out there just yet. Investigate. Oh, I can't go in there. Well, let me go over here first, because I saw a ladder. 
time to jog. Nothing around, do a quick sweep. Wait, salvage, I wanna salvage that, get some money. Ugh, they are just out there. I'm on it. Oh, you need to stop. There we go. I chose the wrong one. Oh, I need to hide. Got it. Uh, one more enemy somewhere. Is there anything else here that I can pick up? Another sleeping body. Go. Another war asset. There's another another enemy over there. Med kit. So this is a DLC. So thankfully this does help me a little bit on my war assets. Where is this last enemy? I'm gonna send the drone in. Get it to work for me. So do my job. Oh yeah, you don't actually manually bypass doors anymore. You just gotta stand there and hold your Omni tool against it. Where is this enemy? Somewhere. <gasps> Another sleeping body. There. That last The study needs to figure out how to physically open the pod. Is this what I want? Yeah, okay. So I found what I was looking for, unintentionally. Was this supposed to kick into a cutscene? No? Yes, there we go. I got worried there for a second. I'm like, I don't want this to, to freeze. So what am I looking- Ooh! So what am I looking at? Here we go. Time for a flash flashback to the past. So just like us, the Protheans fought against their own indoctrinated people. They also have biotic abilities, which is cool, but it's a different color. Your place ain't doing so good, unfortunately. How many have we lost? A lot. Destroyed approximately three hundred. Ooh, crispy. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. And of course, I'm the only one who sees all this. Open the life pod. You understood that? <laughs> yeah. No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it. Well, it's a good thing I'm here, then. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how Prothean the file one. EXE was downloaded into my head. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. All right, time to go. Quick sweep of the room, nothing else left. Ooh, just open the door. Ah, thanks, stay hydrated, bot. You've kicked in. I thought I'd set it to an hour mode, but it's set to two hours. 
Which doesn't really do me any good, because normally I only stream for two hours. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, Alright, no one's around me at the moment. I thought there'd be a way to get up there on top, but I guess not. Alright, so... Oh, I can go up here. Is there anything up here? Are there any goodies up here? Give me the goodies. Most ammo goodies. Mm, I'm getting turned around, unfortunately. I'm like, this place, it's not quite linear, I don't think. So I do get uh, turned around, unfortunately. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? Find the remaining pod data. That doesn't help me in, as far as direction wise. That's why I'm clicking the sticks. Like, I don't want to go up there, I don't think. I think I've already been in there. I don't think I've been in here yet, though. I want to make sure I get all this info for the war assets. Alright, nothing here. Nothing here. I'm just going to take a nap right here. You guys wake me up when everything's done. <gasps> Another sleeping person. Aw, that sucks. They were all just watching TV. Down while having drinks and watching the game. Watching the big game. somebody's home. Aw, that that sucks. And we're going to show They're all geared up too. Oh, I walked into that. Shields down, there we go. Oh, you gotta back away right now. And you are too close. Let's see if this will work. these techs, these engineers. Wait, that's... Ooh. Oh, I am not in a good spot. I am gonna hurt. Where is my squad? So where are you guys? business for me. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. The Cerberus right. is studying it to find Takes care of Cerberus. Time to investigate these places first. Alright, nothing. Oh, wait! Salvage for money. Alright. Time to quick save. I can plan this data, jump into a cutscene, hopefully. Please, hurry. <laughs> there we go. Time to download this cutscene into my brain. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the 
refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. It's like, well, they had their chance. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. It's like, that's not good. Signal the Protheans used to activate right, stasis. Nothing else in this room for me. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open. Time to get back to the pod. Boy, I sure hope we don't run into any Cerberus operatives while we're out there. You. Uh, let's see. Can I just put Singularity in their uh, shuttle? I can. these dudes. Oh wait, who is shooting at me? Oh, you are over there. There's too many, too many of these uh, pods for me to check out. I'm always worried I'm gonna miss something. Ooh, that has got to go. Those engineers. Stop setting up your turrets. Right, right. I think that's it. Alright, just a quick sweep of the room, make sure I don't miss anything. Nothing over there. I already checked those. Uh, that's where I think I just came from, so I've already gone through those buildings. So I think it's a matter of just getting back to the pod right now. They've returned to the bridge. We have to find another way across. Darn. Alright, let's see. Oh, I've already gone through this building. Alright. Find another way. Uh, of course I'm gonna get uh, hit by something while I'm on my way over. At least I thought I would. <gasps> like, I know I have to find cover somewhere, because it's just too quiet. nothing up here. Did I? Let me check my journal, just in case there's something. So, I got schematics. Find someone who'd use it. This is a priority. Priority. Uh, there's nothing... Like, normally you'd be able to check submissions in these, but that is not what I thought I would do. What is this? Oh, bonus codex entries. Ah, there we go. I like how it just blatantly tells you Mass Effect 3. It's <laughs> I 
Like, I thought for a moment it would tell me if I found all the war sets, war assets here on the planet. But that is not the case, unfortunately. I don't think... I think I've already gone through this building. I already picked up everything I needed. Let me just double check my... Yep, my ammo's full. Yeah, I have. I've already gotten that med kit. Alright, time to go work this pod and then get hit with a wave of enemies. I'm transmitting. Open sesame. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to Of process. course it will. Time to take you out. Change weapons. I should have waited and put in a singularity right inside their car. Yeah, they're coming through that building. It's like, thanks for the heads up, Liara. I thought they were. It's like, do I have to bring the fight to them? I guess so. Alright, they are coming through the building. On the double! There's one more in there. Uh, I think there was a mech. If anybody needs rest to be here or a bathroom break, now the top. It's like what bathroom break? There's no bathroom. stasis mode. We're almost there. I saw some flying cash in the building next door. If you want to stock up. remember seeing a weapons cache. Whoa! I'm glad I am over here. Oh, yeah, just take them out. Who is over there? There's like two enemies. Can't select it yet because of that smoke screen. Oh, get down. And there, of course, someone's behind us. Of course. I changed my gun. What am I doing? someone in the house. But that is getting way too close. Or there's somebody over there. The radar at least says there is. Alright, that is done with. There they are. I think that should be it. There. Looks like, you can open looks the like pod now. Yep, we are done. Didn't go too far over ten o'clock. Quick save, and let's open this bad boy and get our new squad mate. Oh, please don't freeze on me. Okay, there we go.
imagine being in his shoes, waking up and seeing like babies in front of you. It's like you're all babies. It's like I remember your your species when it was just like crawling. This is a fine how do you do. So you're welcome. But then again, he had no idea what to expect, so. Be careful, he's confused. I get that. It's like, yeah, the civilization, civilization that you used to know, this Remember, is all that's left. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. So out of everybody, he was the only one that survived. Acceptable. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? None. Just you. Understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, you're never. Jeez. It's like just download English automatically. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last yep. our failure. It's like I could just bypass all of this and be like, I need your help. But uh I'm gonna try and at least they everything they could. Yeah. You know. Never give up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Okay. Like, hey, you okay? Sorry, human, Tarian. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like I'm surrounded by babies. It's not safe here. Will you join us? I don't know what he would say if I brought Edie along. That would have been interesting, like, another AI. Jeez, what's wrong with you people? It's like, oh yeah, you're not one for handshakes. Think I go into a cutscene automatically, and then I'll be calling it a night after that. I've been streaming much longer than what I normally intend to, but I wanted to at least pick up a new crewmate. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite. He what is we not what we expected at all. Kliara is going to be very to disappointed. Here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can Ooh, load. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? Maybe. Find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it. Bye, Hackett. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. I'll be on my way tomorrow night from 8 to 10. Unless this, yeah, the, it just automatically jumps me into that cutscene. Never mind, let's do this then. What's the problem? 
I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Uh, you all need to step down. Over the new species, assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. I'm the captain of this ship. I'm commander. You listen to me. I have main protagonist powers. You will back down. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. You spent your life studying Protheans. When I first met you, I had all the answers that uh, you had spent a lifetime to study. But let's uh, let's see where this goes. I don't think our guest will be a problem. You can all... you're all dismissed. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The I'm just a ball of anxiety. That's just me 24-7. What? I have no clue what this table is. I don't remember. It's like just moving goo. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Yeah, I think he finds out the beacons were not finished. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Oh, all oh, right. So why why didn't you pay heed? Yeah, there we go. Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers? You it's like it was it was confusing. Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon. It wasn't made for our physiology. It's made for Protheans. <laughs> Cut us some slack. Pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Yeah, we had three more games to churn out. We're going to build it. Device. The weapon your people were working on. Yeah, he's not a scientist. How to finish it. He may not be that much of a help for us. Well, it's not too late now. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. Nope. He's a soldier. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my to survive. Friends, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are your you? vengeance. The embodiment of vengeance. There we go. The anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Well, that's, when the last that's something. Been destroyed, will my purpose be fulfilled? We have no other reason to exist. Alright, you can all go. Get out of here. Those who share my purpose become allies. Jeez. That's extreme. <laughs> our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. It's like that is why you will fail. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. Oh, welcome to the Normandy. <laughs> at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? Play, like, I don't know. It contains so... a pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. Man, look at all those teeth. If you don't mind. Just me imagine being a dentist in Prothean times. Oh yeah, the inner nerd. studies on your species. She's like, oh, now I can find out if all my research paid off. Sorry, I finally Oh. I'm sorry. 
Like, that wasn't meant to be insulting, but okay. I've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed easily. Alright, so we're gonna go through all this dialogue before I call tonight, because I don't know if I'm gonna have another opportunity to do this again. Details in our environment ensured our survival. Beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory must have been useful. Biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? I think this is where Grunt was, so he's gonna find out. There was it's like anger. Yep. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. It's like I sense great disturbance in the force. His name was Grunt. And if he were His name is Grunt, he's still alive. In a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Alright, I've already asked that. Asked that. So Leara, let's ask about your civilization. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, let her geek out. I wondered, what sort of government did you have? In <laughs> it's like, hold on. We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion. Now she can finally get all her answers. I was born, which she may or may not like. At war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on. Oh, that must suck. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? It's like, yeah, I've known nothing but war. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire. It's like each cycle was a bit different. All eventually called themselves Prothean. Oh, so Protheans could have been made up of different species. A choice. Oh, like slavery. <laughs> the other species. Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have lived. Many tried. Yeah, so you were either part of the Empire, whether or not you liked it or not, but uh, one way or another, you were part of the Empire. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by the machines. So they were very against AIs. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic... So he may have a problem with Edie. Did it work? For a time, the metagonic <laughs> war. We were turning the tide until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never yeah, imagine that a wake, wake up call. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next well, reorganization. Well, didn't quite work out that way, unfortunately. Ranks, indoctrinated agents betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded Through us? force and but will. No other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Yeah, so they cultivated the Asari. The choice to join the Empire. So that's why he was able to recognize us when we were on the, sh on the, uh, the planet. They would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks? So basically, them leaving us alone ensured our survival for this cycle against the Reapers. Because I think the Reapers deemed us too primitive to uh, harvest. So that's why they left us alone for this cycle. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. 
What can you tell us about your own war with the Reavers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted. And I think he's centuries. primarily just a Both DLC character, so you could do this whole game without him at all. When I was born. But you would lose all this there background were information. Shots, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Uh, Ilos. The ago, we a that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker. Yeah, everybody there was dead too. During my life, Ilos was only a woman. Ilos. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. So even they found other research and other uh, artifacts from a previous cycle, too. Eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived. No, sorry. They did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. Oh, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to take you to the, to the Citadel. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population like, well, time we could regroup. We're gonna lose this planet. It cost you in the long run. It did. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Confirmed. So basically every planet you sacrificed that was just adding more soldiers to the uh, Reaper we army. No choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Uh, I think if I were to choose this, I'd be kicked out of this whole uh, dialogue. But let me just, let me just ask. Why did lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All ah, you weren't diverse enough. One strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then it was only a matter. So that is not a problem we have in this cycle. To say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. All right. So last dialogue choice, and then I will be calling it a night. It is much later than I intended. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to... Did I already ask this? They gave us fragments of... Oh, I think I did. Okay. Then I have exhausted all dialogue. I've already asked that. Thank so you. time to say goodbye and good night. Never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been... A <laughs> oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The it's like this system is run by babies. There's also the Solarians. It's like, ah, the lizard people. Yeah, the lizard people. They used to eat flies. <laughs> it's like I have amusing and embarrassing anecdotes from all your species. You may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard. Ah, we finally get a name. Welcome, welcome aboard. I believe I will be taking him with me when I go to Sirkesh. All right, weapon unlocked. Why? What's wrong with my hair? It looks like it's see-through, but I think it's just that light. But yeah, I think it's like just doing wonky stuff with my model. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Can I upgrade anything? Not at the moment. I'm gonna save that for my combat drone. Okay. I will be calling it a night. Thank you again, everyone who stopped on by. Thanks, Crayon, for lurking. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry again, this went over a little bit. I probably should have waited till tomorrow to do this mission, but I was really excited to do it tonight. So, let me just uh, get this ready to end. So once again, thank you everyone for stopping on by, hanging out with me tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the hosts. Uh, shout it out during the evening. That was Inverted Goose 30 and Fire Marshal, as well as Chaos Theory 2332. Thank you again for the hosts. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I will be streaming again tomorrow night from 8 to 10, Mass Effect 3. And that will be Wednesday. I'm looking forward to sleeping, getting the, rid of this headache. 
Um, let me double check. Who can I send you to? Speaking of hosts, uh, doo -doo -doo. who can I send you all to? Uh, hmm. <laughs> All right, I think I know. Let's all go pay Eight Fist a visit. They're playing Tetris at the moment. So let's get this raid started. And I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow, eight to 10. So I hope you all have a good evening and a good night. And I'll see you again. Take care.